Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of my 12 days of plan months where I'm showing you guys all the setups for the planners of next year. So before we start, let's just turn on the candle. You guys know that I'm using this one since Christmas is coming up. And this one, I got it at Target. But if you don't know me, my name is B, and I made so many videos about a lot of stationery, a lot of unboxing, a lot of planning, anything related with paper. But before we start showing you this one, this is going to be my work planner. I want to show you really quick some things that I got from Traveler's Company. The first thing that I got is this one. I got another craft paper folder because I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm setting up mainly my passport size Traveler's Company. So I got that. The other thing that I got and the reason why I wanted to show you is because I got some of this. Oh, I didn't know that if I buy this, they were going to send me this. This is really nice. So I got a new one of these ones. This is really nice. I didn't know that. So this is the Traveler's Town. And I'm already using one that I'm going to show you guys later. But I really like that. But the reason why is this. Because I really want to use this into my planner for work. So I think I'm going to use this one for my work planner since it's like that. So I don't put any extra charms so we're gonna be setting up that today too and i got this is a sticker oh happy holidays and have a nice trip i didn't know i was gonna get this this is nice so happy holidays everyone this is the travelers company kind of holiday uh, thing that they were selling out and apart from that i also got these two things i'm not gonna open them but this is basically like a bag so if you just see if, like in here because i don't want to try to put it this is the material so this one the small one is green and this one is as you can see blue and i got the blue one in a big size to be able to put my travelers company when i travel and the small one to put my passport size so these are like bags for that and then the extra things that i got is this because i really wanted to put some of these in my hands and these are just pockets so that's why i wanted to show you really quick what i got the main reason, as I mentioned, is these tags. I really wanted to get one of these. So let us open it up and let's try to get this a small one. I think this one is going to look really nice. They are kind of like the same color, so there is not a lot of color contracts going on in there. But I think they are going to look really nice right there. Do you see? It's really cute. So let's just try to set up this before I show you guys the contents of this planner so we can finish this setup. Okay, I don't have the scissors in here with me, but I'm just going to cut that and that's how it looks. It has the little bear in there that says, have a nice trip. It's so cute. So anyways, I'm just going to cut that later on. But this is the outside. I got this and this is not supposed to be at the end. I made a hole in there by myself and put this because I wanted to be able to close it. I got this out of Amazon. It was really cheap. I don't remember if I paid like $8 or $16 or something like that. I don't know, but it was really cheap. So inside this, I decided to use the Wonderland 222 that I show you guys in another video. I think it was in October that I showed that video. So in here, in this specific cover, I added this. This is just a bookmark that I bought in a kind of like Norwegian kind of store. It was like Vikings store or something like that. And then in here, as you can see, I have red nails, so the red goes in there, but it's okay. I decorated in here. I just put brown of as uh, one of the TNs. I like to save these little dots. And then in here, I just put this beautiful sticker from La Dolce Vita. And I don't really remember this one, where it was from. But I really like this, how it's like going to work and drinking some coffee. So that's the first design. When you open it up, I was able to make this go flat. So now I really like it. As you can see in here, just the planner 2024. I put in here three different stickers just for decoration purposes. And in here I put a girl kind of like reading, doing research that has, that's mainly what I do. And then in here again, some coffee. So that's mainly the first decorations that I did. Then when you open it up in here, this just came like kind of like blank pages in here and it was called index. So what I did is that I put some stickers in here and I just wrote projects. And then in here, I divided this by quarters. So in here I put 2023 and quarter four, mainly because my job is starting in November that I'm going to show you. I'm filming this before December so I can have all these videos ready. And also because I'm going to be traveling by the time this video comes out. 
So anyway, so this is the quarter four. So I'm going to be taking notes in there about the projects and everything. So I also put in here a lot of these tags. As you can see, these ones in here are specifically from Traveler's Company. And these ones are the passport size tags. And then if you see in here, let me put it really close to you. I have these really tiny, tiny tabs. And this one in here, I got them. Uh, they are from Midori. And actually, I found them because of Raquel on Instagram. She had that, so I really liked it. So these are the, the little tabs that I'm using. Apart from that, I'm also using some Midori clips. And this one is mainly to denote the page that I'm right now. So in here, in the other two index pages, I kept also the 2024 and I put all the quarters. So I can take notes of each quarter, mainly because I like to do some quarter review and things that I can make better, things that are working or not working. I take notes on that and I have like some meetings with my manager usually on like the end of the month. So I want to continue that tradition for myself to be able to to grow in my career. So that's that. Then moving on in here, it comes the four years. This one, I'm not doing anything to be honest with these four years. Uh, I'm just gonna use it in there as reference if I need something, but this is how it looks as of right now. Then moving on in here, this one is the yearly, the 2024. And this one, I put so many cute stickers. I got these stickers and they are really, really pretty. As you can see, it's most of the federal holidays in the United States. And also it tells me in here when the, like, I think this is the daylight savings is called. <laughs> So in here it's called like a spring forward, but the, sh the clock kind of changed one hour ahead. And in here in the, um, let me see which one is it. And then in this one in here is a fall back. So it means that the clock wa goes one hour back. So I put those and in here I put some stickers for birthdays I want to remember or celebrations. And then in here I put the stickers to know when fall is gonna begin, when winter is gonna begin and so on when the summer or the spring begins and then all these celebrations. So I really love how this spreads turned out. I didn't really know exactly the size of this when I got these stickers and I didn't even got this planner until after I got the stickers and they match really, really nice. It's so good. Anyways, if I haven't told you this planner, I already did a whole unboxing of this planner is the A6 size. So you can have it in there in mind. So this in here, I just put this information kind of tab. Then open it up, it comes this, the division by quarters. And I totally love it because my job, we do a lot of quarters planning and there are some projects that I really like to finish or some kind of like, eh, yeah, like projects that I need to finish by the end of the quarter. So in here, I put mainly stickers. These stickers that I got in here are also really pretty. These are for paid day off or pay, pay time off. So I just put in there the holidays that I will get paid. And I just put the stickers in there. And I did the same with all of the stickers and all those days of the year until the end that is in here in quarter four. For this one, I just put the tab that says memo. And then moving on, we come with the routine. I just call it list in here, but it's like the routine tracker. And this in here, I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna keep like using this Wonderland for next year. Now that I accidentally came into this planner, I really love it how I put all the decorations and everything. But in here in the routine, I'm just gonna track the work, mainly the work hours. And if I work that day, I'm gonna track if I had any sick days so I can know how many per month I had. Then I'm gonna track the days off that are mainly like pay, like PTO, and the days that I get paid. Because now I'm not gonna get paid every week, I'm gonna get paid every two weeks, which is gonna be an adjustment. I have been getting paid for two years every single week, and now it's every two weeks. So let's see how that works. Then I also, I'm gonna track in here the vacation. Let me put it closer to you again so you can see. We have the vacation. I put many of these stickers. And then in here, it's gonna be mainly like if I, travel for work or if I'm working in another state or anything because I can I work from home so I can travel and work. So that's all the things. In this line in here, I decided to add the payday and mainly to see how much I was making in those weeks. And if I work extra time and stuff like that, I noted in here. So I really love this. It's gonna work really nice with what I want to do. So I'm really excited to use these ones. And it comes all the months 
of the year and i decided to set them up all the way until december so you can see all the trackers of the year i already really set up so in here we start with the monthly and i already set up this one as i mentioned i'm filming this video even before i start work i'm starting work next week so you can kind of see when i film this video but in here is the december overview and this only comes with december but it comes like with the monthly in december and i'm only gonna work like two weeks in november and like two three weeks in december so it works perfectly so i use in here i just put this cute sticker of again la dolce vita studio or a store i i forget the name but i put that one and i put some stickers that i got off amazon and then in here i put some other stickers i got off amazon they look really pretty aesthetic like everything that i like so in here i'm just gonna put the total hours that i work and the total pay that i got in november and in december so that's what i'm planning as of right now then the other months i'm gonna also track in there how many projects i work on how many research methods that i use that month and so on so that's what i'm planning on doing in the overview so since this is november and december i put these tabs from travelers so when you open the monthly this is what i did as i mentioned i'm only gonna work three weeks in december and two weeks in november and this is mainly because i'm gonna be taking some vacation for three weeks from november in december and you guys may see later on what happened during these weeks but i'm gonna keep it a secret as of right now what is going on but this in here i just use some stickers and i cover up the monthly of the days of the month in december and then in here i just separated with a line and put november decorated for november and then december and decorated for december i really like how this turned out i put some stickers in here too in the holidays and then in here i know it's a holiday but i'm still gonna just put vacation so i really love how this turned out i'm starting to work on the 13th of november so as i mentioned i'm filming this the week before so way ahead of time filming this but i'm really excited to start taking notes of all this then in the weekly what i did is that again this is december i have to cover this but this is i'm using november so i just started putting all these cute stickers to cover up the dates and i just put it in here what i'm gonna use this space for is that in the top i'm gonna just put really quick things that i really need to make sure i finish then i'm gonna use this of course for my work schedule i'm gonna be really really trying to put boundaries this time as this job because i speak different languages and usually when i work i work with different times sometimes i do like research in japan so i have to work really late at night but now i'm using not only a full-time job but also i'm gonna have a full-time degree that i'm taking that is the master's so i'm gonna really try my best to keep the hours within these same hours in here from 7 a.m to 6 p.m and no more I love this planner that it comes Saturday and Sunday in one area in here, mainly because I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. And if I work, it's really rarely. And I just can put the stickers and decorate pretty. But in here, eh, I'm taking my master's. And I think I have mentioned this before, but for my master's, I do have eh, classes every single Wednesday. Some of those times now in november moving forward i have like so many life lessons that is for around 30 minutes to one hour so i'm gonna make sure i still work the eight hours a day but i still adjust to put this class within wednesdays so that's why i just put in here what kind of class i have so i can remember when i'm planning my week and just to let you know a little bit more i'm a ux researcher a in it means I also work from home, so my schedule is really flexible. So I can move sometimes, like I can start at 7 a.m. today and finish at 5, and then the next day I can work from 8 until 6 and so on. So as long as I work 8 hours a day, I'm okay. So I usually like move around my schedule if I have to go to the doctor, if I have classes, if I have any language learning or if i have anything important i usually just move around my schedule and make sure that i work the 40 hours a week so i really love that so that's how i'm using this journal so i just wanted to mention really really quick in here i just put this <laughs> uh, this in here is just something that i got off target and it's just this clear pocket that i wanted to put in the back and then in here i got this one for planner paper bliss and i think it's a sticker but i just got it and put it in here because right now it's still fall kind of looking so i have that one in there but that's all of the things so 
I don't know if you guys saw my video when I was mentioning that when I bought this one, I bought it because the sterling ink never arrived on time for me to start work. It haven't even arrived it yet but i mentioned in that video that this only had like 90 pages of notes and that was not gonna be enough for me so i just wanted to say a big thank you for wonderland 22 uh, because they contacted me and we got into a agreement they are sending me it's not arriving by the time i film in this video it's gonna arrive next week but they are sending me one notebook that they also sell in the store and this is not a sponsor at all i just really want to be grateful for them because they sent me that notebook that is at 368 days and it's just pages like this and they sent me the a6 size so i'm gonna be able to pair that notebook with this one and use for the daily so i'm so excited to use that so in the meantime until the year ends this is where we came into this design i'm so excited to explain to you guys about this design and also again thank you so much to the store for sending me that notebook i'm so excited for that to come and i can start using it next year but yeah so in the meantime since i don't have that notebook yet i'm gonna be using this one and this one i think i got it in japan in daiso this is a really simple notebook that I can use to take notes every single day. I really love to do that, the daily pages when I'm at work because I usually do the to-do list and if I have meetings, I just write down some meetings. So I'm gonna be using this one for those, for that month of November, December. Usually you take a lot of notes when you join a new team in onboarding and stuff like that. So that's the plan for this. And I love how cohesive all of this look. Let me just turn it so the light doesn't interfere. For this one in here, I absolutely love the color of this planner. You can see it in here that it's kind of like blue, kind of like gray going on. But I decided to cover up this because I have this like paper. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video yesterday, but I got this paper in that same store that I mentioned in here that it was like that biking store. They, they gave me all the things that I bought in this paper bag. That was this that I put down. And since I got that, I was like, I really want to use it to cover up some of my journals. And I really wanted to use it. So I use it for this year now. So this is just a really like old, I don't know which year newspaper and they just printed out. So we have it in here. I put in here some of this sticker again for La Dolce Vita Studio. And then in here, I put this Have a Nice Trip from Traveler's Company. This is the one that, I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I had all the things that I bought in Japan. They came packed and all the packaging and all the packaging kind of like had this little tag in there. So this is one of those tags. And then in here, I put another stickers of that, the latte. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I put like a green little um washi tape in here so i absolutely love how this looks i didn't do the front because the front is already in the cover so it doesn't really matter but the back when i open it is just so pretty and it gives me so much joy that i absolutely love it so yeah i'm using this the the pen that i'm trying to use not only for school for everything as of right now because my husband bought me one pen from the fountain pen day and it hasn't arrived yet but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna use that one for other note taking but as of right now the pen that i'm planning on using is this one this is the sailor and let me see i don't really know exactly um yeah i don't really know exactly the the name of the sailor pen but this is the sailor pen i'm gonna put it in here in the screen as well but i absolutely love how this ride is so like it's not heavy at all it's really light it has this gold in here kind of going on but it's not real gold because this is a cheap pen it's, i didn't pay like 300 dollars um i want one of those pens trust me but they are too expensive so i just pay like i don't remember like 70 for this one or 60 something but it just have black ink inside and it writes so nice so i really like it so this is the pen that i'm gonna be using in here with this and i just love everything so this is again my work planner i don't think there is a lot more that i can explain about this one but i'm gonna be pairing up this one let me just close it in here so as i mentioned this is my work planner and i'm go gonna pair it up with that notebook for the daily to do but as i mentioned eh, at work i took so many notes so i'm a researcher as i mentioned so i'm gonna pair this up with this 
So this is gonna be my work system, apart from that notebook that is coming up. And this one in here, I absolutely love it. I don't know how to pr uh, pronounce this, but it's like Bankuhen, Studio Bankuhen store kind of thing. It's one of their covers. I always wanted to get one. And when I saw it in the website, I was really like between getting the one that is kind of like coffee or something or getting this one. This one get really easy, <laughs> dirty, but, but yeah, I got this one. This is the size of B6 Slim. And the reason why I got this one is because someone on Instagram mentioned that this one actually looks really nice with the uh, one that I really wanted to get from Sterling Inc. that I got is having a right, but the one that was like the weeks, they put a video and say, this looks so good. So this was my plan on using for that weeks. But since I changed my kind of like setup, what I'm using this one for is this. I have this in here and this one is the Midori paper. This is the B6 Slim or the new kind of like notebook. I'm not gonna open some of the information in there, but as you can see, the notebook inside is like this. And this is, I'm not gonna use it for a to-do list. I'm not gonna show you the information that I already have, but mainly I'm gonna sh like try to get it because of my work. As I mentioned, I'm a UX researcher. I do so many projects. And when I was changing jobs, I realized that I didn't really take a lot of notes of the projects that I did. And by notes, I don't mean any confidential information, but it's mainly like the project, what the project was in like, what was the method that I used? Why did I chose that method? And how many people I, like if it was an interview, I interviewed these people and why, how long was the project? And really simple things like that without copying any confidential information. It's mostly like a overall information for me to know when I have to talk about that project. And I realized that because when I changed jobs, I had to do a presentation and I had to explain some of the jobs that I did. And it took me a long time to go back and to see all the projects and be able to talk about them. So I wanna keep this in here. I have been taking notes on some of them uh, that I did before. The ones that I mentioned were in that presentation, but I wanna do this for most of the projects moving forward. So I can make sure that I have that data in case I have to change the job again. But anyways, I'm so excited to use this for work. I'm going to be using this in November, even though you guys are going to see this in December. But anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this setup. I absolutely love it. I think like everything happened for a reason. And I'm excited that now I'm using this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another setup. So happy holidays. Bye bye.